I thought, oh, maybe I should try some online dating. And uh, at the bottom, they said, for $30, we'll use all this data and plug it into our system and match you with your dream girl. And that's, to be honest, I, I got more paranoid than anything. Or I, I started to think, really, well, the, the computer knows? What if I've been wrong my whole life, you know? Because I've always kind of had this thing for the sporty librarian type with uh, a foreign accent and a PhD and some rental properties. That's all I'm going for. You know? <laughs> what if that's way off? What if I'm more the Walmart cashier type with a Ford Festiva and a lot of guns in her basement kind of guy? <laughs> Only one way to find out. So I sent the money in. They matched me up with a pediatric anesthesiologist from South Africa. Cha-ching. <laughs> yeah! Best $30 return I've ever had. So, I didn't even know what it was when I met her, too. Pediatric anesthesiologist. Turns out she almost kills children for a living. That's what she told me. She said, well, scientifically, we use drugs and chemicals to shut down your body and hover you over the abyss, well, and then while well, they do the operation, and then you brought back into the world of the living and then stabilize from the massive trauma and prevent you going to shock. Yeah, that's basically what I do, which is gonna come in handy when we have to discipline our own kid, I think. <laughs> you better clean your room. Your mother will show you the white light of Jesus. <laughs> I know, so we have a little girl now, and, uh, and people mean well with their parenting advice, but a lot of it doesn't apply when you have an anesthesiologist on hand all the time. Oh, you're having a baby? You're not gonna get a good night's sleep for a while. I think we'll be okay. <laughs> yeah, mommy has a toolbox, little, little spritzer called Baby Be Quiet. <laughs> We went to South Africa to meet, uh, to visit the grandparents, and that's a 17-hour flight, you know, around the plane, and everybody was just ex just complimenting us on how well-behaved our little child was on, on the 17-hour flight. Well, you know, it's just good parenting, being on the same page, trying some of the most modern methods, and really, sometimes I, sometimes you just have a gift for these things. I can't explain it, but we're done talking now. Okay.